Hi everyone, this is Ants. Today, I will be showing you my five top picks for Godot for shader effects that are freely available to use in your games. Now, this is a personal selection of my five top picks, specifically because I'm very interested in using them in my existing and future games. So let's get started. In this first example, this is called Screen Space God Rays. And with this shader, you can effectively mimic the behaviors of volumetric light. And as you can see, they're going through the slits too. And I use this windmill to show that effect. This shader comes from a Unity um, article and they also use a windmill too to show the effect. And you could get this shader from the Godot Shaders website. Just type in Godot Shaders and you'll get this website. And then look for Screen Space God Rays. And this shader is, uh, this page is very well documented. It shows you how to set up everything. And here's the shader. And it also uh, shows you how everything should look <clears throat> in Godot. Very, very good. Okay, so let's move on to our second pick. This is a GD Quest Force Field Shader that is part of their project that's freely um, you could use. However, um, those, that project uh, was in, originally intended for Godot 3, but they're slowly moving it to Godot 4, and this is one of the shader effects that uh, they moved over to Godot 4 and it's amazing um, but I also added a second shader effect with multiple impacts. I really really wanted this for a long long time and I combined the two and the impact effect is from this project here shield with multiple impacts it's very simple shader it's actually not that long at all and therefore it was pretty easy for me to basically uh, incorporate um, the two and um, yeah so so it's a shader in a company code for making shield effects that react to multiple impacts. It could react to 16, but I can't click enough to do 16. So 16 is more than enough. And the original uh, GD Quest Force Field shader uh, uses Fresno effect to form a smooth glow, and it uses a depth buffer, buffer to calculate intersection with the existing world geometry. So I combined the two shaders and I auto moved the wall to show the intersection results and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the result. And again, uh, between this and the God Rays, it's kind of my favorite too. Okay, so let's move on. Now this is a pixel art water shader with a buoyancy system and foam overlay. So this water is like NES 64 type pixelated water. So if you need pixelated water, this is definitely a go-to uh, for you. And the buoyancy system is really, really good. It handles uh, complex geometry and it ha handles very simple capsules or boxes that just bob up and down. So you can use one that's a little bit more um, CPU intensive in terms of the buoyancy system. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, or you could just use simple things that like garbage that are floating in the, um, on the water. Now the other thing I did is I modified the shaders to get rid of the water pixelation effect. And hopefully you could see it on the video capture. But now the pixelation of the water has been removed. But I haven't done the foam yet. I'm not particularly a, a big uh, fan of the phone, so I have to either change it or, or remove it or something like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna put back the pixelation of the water. And now it's a pixelated water uh, shader. 
and I removed it. So I modified it. And if I can modify it, that means you can. It's actually not uh, hard at all. Uh, so this is really, really, really a good uh, thing. So again, this shader comes with the water manager script, a buoyancy script for complex geom uh, uh, geometry, and a simple floating box for characters and random flo uh, floating objects. It comes with three scripts. The manager, the, um, the water manager is uh, fantastic. So this is really, really a good find. I like it. Uh, there's a few things I want to change, but yeah, it's really, really rock solid. And you could change everything, the wave height and all that kind of stuff. Uh, everything is configurable. I'm not going to deep dive in every single shader. I'm just showing you my five top picks. So let's um, move forward. So this one, this one, absolutely you should have included. It's very... Uh, not that much code. It's 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 amazing, right? Um, and it's the particle uh, flipbook flow map uh, smoothing shader, right? So this shader uses a flow map to interpolate flipbook animation frames for smoother flipbook playback. There's other explosions that you can uh, get on the Godot shaders that don't use uh, flow map uh, smoothing. Right, and you'll notice the the difference. It is not as smooth as this one. Right, so uh, we are. I should have showed you this before. Um, right, so here we go. The particle flipbook flow map shooting. This is the one that you want. Right, and um, it's also a port from Unity too. Right, and it uses flow maps. Um, Honestly, it's 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 an amazing. Uh, I can't wait to use this in my existing games. Okay. All right, and we're to our final one. And I want to put a two D, right? So uh, the next one is uh, play with Christopher's Sprite Pixel Explosion Shader. Right, and this one was uh, originally in uh, a YouTube video, but it's uh, for uh, Godot three. But now it's been ported to Godot four. So I'm going to show you my demo of it. Right, right. So I don't do it justice. I just made this quickly. But it anything any image could be exploded and uh, it will be great for 2D games, but maybe even for 3D games with some uh, GUI elements, you could explode the GUI element or something, I don't know. But it's definitely a, a go-to and it should be in your library of uh, shaders that you can use and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, that's all of them. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and Again, the five shaders are the links to the code that I used for each one of these. There's going to be linked in the description. You might like some of them. You might not like some of them. Uh, you know, um, feel free to leave your comments on that. I'm definitely going to be using these in the near future. So thank you for watching and take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.